WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. You've got the Dow up 772 points, 2 and 4 tenths percent. The S&P's up 114, 2 and 7 tenths as well. NASDAQ 100, 3 and 3 tenths percent, 441 points, nearly 3 percent for the Russell. That's 57 points. The semi's up 123, nearly 4 percent there. Trading's up 450. That's just a little over 3 percent. You've got gold trading down 53 bucks. That's off 2 0.6% 1990 is the print. Light sweet crude, she's trading down at 110, 90 and change, sitting right at support. It's off 12 bucks. We'll go take a look at that during the uh, Trader's Edge show. Natural gas is flat, and the 30 year Treasury is down 18 ticks. She's trading at 156.16. As we take a look at our nine panel market update chart, we begin with the ES mini in the upper left hand corner. You're going to see it's a big rally. The price is still just trading with inside that you know, uh, February 24th swing point. We just this is this is just a sideways ish move at this stage here. Now, you may get a little different picture if price can close above 4290, get outside that February 24th swing point. And what that would do is likely say that price would go target. Well, there'd be about three different areas. The bottom of its weekly profile, and that's at the 4331 level. The center of its uh, the center of its uh, uh, a daily profile and a descending trend line. Spot volatilities is still well above its 50-day exponential moving average. As any kind of rug pull, uh, you can see a big swoosh to the downside. The NQ is also a big rally, but just trading inside that February 24th swing point out here. So it's basically done nothing. We just have this little sideways move out here. In order for it to get semi-bullish price would have to close above 13,983. U.S. dollar index is pulling back. Can't remember the top that it has out there. I believe it's a TD9 count top. But price is forming a new daily profile. It's attempting to form one. And so what the U.S. dollar should do is find support at the 97.73 level. We won't know till tomorrow if that uh, a new profile forms. Gold is pulling back. Uh, it is above the top of its daily profile out there. Silver pulling back is above the top of its weekly profile. Light read crude, there's a new daily profile that's also trying to form here. The center is the area where it found support, and that's at the 108.86 level. Oh, at 108.86. Natural gas pulling back to test support. That's its daily profile, 442. And the 30-year treasury needs to hold 156.16. Otherwise, it targets 153.30. Stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. If you have to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful day.